Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hello, I'm Danita Harris, and here's a look at today's top stories. Troopers, deputies, and police chase this truck through four counties overnight. It started in Ottawa County at times reaching speeds of 100 miles per hour. Police used stop sticks, and the truck was eventually down to one tire when it stopped in Lakewood. The driver tried to make a run for it, but was arrested. A new report from Policy Matters Ohio shows raising the state's minimum wage from $8.80 an hour to $15 an hour would benefit more than 1.5 million Ohioans and could inject more than $6 billion into the state's annual economy. The plan proposes to start raising the minimum wage this September until it reaches $15 an hour in 2026. The report also calls for the elimination of $4.40 an hour for tipped employees. Cleveland will host a new women's tennis championship tournament this summer. The event will be held August 22nd through the 28th at Jacobs Pavilion. Now for your weather, here's Katie McGraw. It was a beautiful start to the day. We had a few showers in our southern communities, and now those are even farther to the south, south of Columbus, near the Ohio River. We do have a few clouds around, and today, lovely. Tomorrow, a different story, and that starts by tonight when temperatures drastically fall, but we'll also have some wet weather associated with that. So it's going to be a little bit yucky for a couple days. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.